this is ready now. Today, I'm going to present our latest empirical study about the biases of natural language models. This work was published in IEEE Transactions of Effective Computing. Pretrained language models have been widely used in diverse natural language processing tasks. Since rich knowledge can be learned from open corpora during the pretraining stage, pretrained language models are also frequently used in zero-shot and few-shot learning tasks. It's important to understand if pretrained language models are biased in label predictions because without the supervision of label data, the biases are likely passed to downstream tasks in zero-shot context. Thus, we conduct an empirical study on prompt-based zero-shot sentiment analysis and emotion detection tasks to study the biases of return language models. We test several return language models, for example, BERT, Roberta, Albert, and BARD. We found that the fine-grained emotion taxonomy of the hourglass emotion model and Roberta Large are more efficient for sentiment analysis and the emotion detection tasks. We also find that prompt-based uh, models yield weak performance on emotion detection, which is a fine-grained classification task because the emotional label words are less differentiable for emotion detection than sentiment analysis. We do not find large pretrained language models tend to yield higher probabilities for frequent label words. Finally, the prompt templates and positions the label word selection, such as different emotion word lexicons and parts of speech, do impact the model performance somehow. However, our testing results cannot achieve an agreement to determine whether prefix the prompting or suffix the prompting is better because different prompt templates present different results. The empirical study is prompt based. We concatenate a prompt, for example, I feel mask in front of an input sentence and use a pre-trained language model to conduct a mask word prediction task. The pre-trained language model aims at predicting the probability of label words, for example, joyful and sad appearing at the mask position. If a positive label word has the highest probability, the sentence is classified as positive, otherwise negative. Similarly, if the label words of an uh, emotion class has the highest probability, the sentence is classified as uh, the corresponding emotion class. To test the different label word setups, we collect the label words from different emotion models, for example, Actinus model, Go Emotions, uh, Plachik's uh, Wheel of Emotion, uh, Semantic Role Labeling Orientated uh, Emotion Model, and Hourglass. These emotion models have coarse-grained and fine-grained emotion categories, which also helps us study the biases caused by label word selections. To make a fire comparison between different uh, sentiment analysis and emotion detection tasks, we control the label words. In, uh, in other words, the same set of label words is used for both sentiment analysis and uh, emotion detection tasks. We use the data set from uh, Blitzer at all to study sentiment analysis, including uh, positive and negative label classes. We use the data set from WASSA uh, 2017 shared task to study emotion detection, including anger, fear, uh, sadness, and the joy uh, emotional label classes. We tested the base and the large versions of different pretrained language models to understand if the biases are distinguishable between pretrained language models with different parameter sizes. First, let's see if pretrained language models are biased between different tasks. From the diagram, we can see that there are performance gaps between sentiment analysis on the left and emotion detection on the right, even though the label words are pretrained language uh, and the pretrained language models have been well controlled in the two tasks. It shows that uh, pretrained language models are biased between different tasks. Then we conduct a breakdown analysis based on large versions of pretrained language models and fine-grained emotion taxonomies. We find those pretrained language models likely yield very weak performance on uh, to one or two emotion classes. 
and uh, the very weak performance uh, varies by different emotion taxonomies and the pre language models. However, the performance gap between positive and negative sentiment classes is much smaller. The reason for the biased performance on different tasks can be concluded from the following aspects. Number one, um, the, the emotion label space is uh, divided into multiple classes, and each class may have fewer label words. Uh, emotion detection, including uh, sufficient label words favored by pre language models, becomes more accidental. Thus, uh, its performance could be uh, weaker than sentiment analysis. Uh, number two, the label space of emotion detection is not uh, uh, symmetrically divided. Thus, there are more non-offsetting labels in non-symmetrical label space. Uh, for example, a non-sadness emotion class can be one of anger, fear, and uh, joy classes, uh, whereas anger and fear are not in are not the opposite emotion of sadness. It increases the difficulty of distinguishing labels in vector space. And number three, uh, most of the employed emotion taxonomies were developed uh, according to facial exp expressions rather than texts. Their taxonomies are still arguable. When emotion detection comes to text, the textual emotion expression could be ambiguous. People may show sadness or anger emotions towards the same text. For example, the betrayal of a friend. Picture language models do not particularly uh, model the difference between different uh, textual emotion during the pre-training. The concurrences of uh, emotion words and the context are subjective to individual feelings. Then it's more difficult to infer the nouns between, for example, anger and sadness from the text in downstream prompting. Number four, unbalanced label words also result in biased predictions between different classes. For example, the fine-grained goal emotions model, aka uh, GEF27, achieves better performance on the sadness and the joy classes than other classes across all the pre-trained language models. Well, such consistent st uh, status does not appear in other emotion models. Uh, this is because the sadness and the joy classes of GEF27 have more labeled words than other classes. Thus, the number of labeled words triggers the biased predictions of pre language models. Um, on the other hand, the examined uh, sentiment analysis task is a coarse-grained classification task because uh, its label space is symmetrically divided into two opposite classes, say either positive or negative. A non-positive text is a negative task in the binary classification task and vice versa. Thus, the label words are more distinguishable between label classes in uh, sentiment analysis. Besides, each uh, label class likely has more label words in a coarse-grained classification task, which means the selected label words more likely cover the, prefer, uh, the preference of uh, different temperature language models. The next question is, do preterm language models bias, the, uh, bias to uh, frequent words? We use the word frequency statistics of uh, Google Books and Grand Corpus and uh, model the correlation between label word frequencies in Google Books and uh, average the label word probabilities in different preterm language models. Google Books is the training corpus for many preterm language models. Uh, besides Albert, we cannot find clear evidence to prove that there is a strong correlation between the probability of a word appearing in a context and uh, the word frequency in the typical corpus. Albert is a very small pre-trained language model in terms of parameter sizes. Thus, large pre-trained language models show the capacity of modeling contextual information, mitigating the impact of what frequencies? The last question is, do pre language models bias towards different prompts and uh, label with forms? Uh, we found that uh, 
um, different prompt uh, templates yield different performance. For example, we test different semantically similar prompts. Prompt one is the emotion is mask. Prompt two is I feel mask. We concatenate the prompts to uh, input text respectively, but the results are different. We also find that uh, adjective label words likely perform uh, better than nominal label words, but using both can achieve the best performance. Finally, we found that uh, different positions of uh, prompts, for example, placing the prompts at a head position in front of an input or placing the prompts at a tail position after an input can yield uh, different results. The above findings are anti-intuition because uh, the above factors should not impact uh, the sentiment uh, and the uh, emotion judgments for humans, but for machines, they do yield biased results. Thanks for listening and you are welcome to set our papers.